Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Old Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to another episode of my 7 Days to Die Let's Play series. This is episode number 31, I believe, if I am correct. That would be good. I'm just returning back from the military base. I got what I thought was important from the military base. There are obviously more stuff that I could... There's more stuff that I could definitely bring back, but I didn't see them of vital importance. So I got stuff like the sword off shotgun and the ammo for it, stuff like that. Because I think that would be fun to mess around with a bit. But now the idea is we want to travel back home. And hopefully... Uh, it's going to be risky. But hopefully we have enough time in the day to go to... Here. The problem is once I get out there... I don't think I'm going to be able to get back all in one day unless I make a real run for it and have beer out of my ass and just be sprinting the whole time because it looks like it's a long run. It's like three and a half kilometers. It's not undoable. It's definitely doable, but it is a very long sprint. Very, very long sprint. Actually, can we take sexual Tyrannosaurus? That would mean we wouldn't have to. No, we can't. Athletics 60. I thought I already hit 60 in athletics. No, I haven't. Apparently, I'm only 11 in athletics. We also want as much meat as physically possible. Again, increases our wellness. Makes us beautifully healthy. Slim, trim. I'm not picking up the animal hide. Because they didn't want to have to carry the animal hide around for anything else. Nope. Alright. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We are golden. All we gotta do is get back to base, drop off all this stuff, and I will see you guys and girls after we drop off all the stuff, I guess. Alright guys and girls, we are back. This is gonna be a bit of a problem. We've got a massive lake in the way. I can see that there's a path across to there and a path across from that way. There's a few actually. I think I'm going to take the one that's down here because it looks like it will be roughly the right distance to the trader, depending on what's around this bend, actually. Can we even get around to it? Without having to really swim. Would be preferred. Sorry if you can hear a little yapping dog. I talked about this in my COD video that I recorded last night. Uh, but we put our chihuahuas out the back because we were sick of them being inside and shitting everywhere because they just weren't learning. So we shoved them out the backyard and now the male chihuahua is having a shit fit about it. Does not like being outside at all. So we're going to have to figure something out at the moment. They're put in a pretty big cage, but the cage is like an old bird aviary, so it's not small. But at the moment, we have to have both of them in there if they're going to be outside because they can escape because the... The gates at the side of our house, they can fit through because they're so tiny. So that's one big major issue. We're just going to ignore all the zombies because we don't have a lot of time. Hence why I brought about nine beers with me, hoping I can make this run um, all in one day if possible. I mean, I guess it's not the worst if we can't because at the least, if we can find a POI, we should be able to survive the night, especially if it's one with a decent sized roof. That shouldn't be so much an issue. We've got plenty of arrows. We've got guns. we got a really good pistol on us with a lot of shots. We should be able to survive the night time if need be. I believe anyway. Probably still do want to pick up a lot of feathers on the way because we've got a lot now. We've got about... I'd say about a thousand feathers back at the base. Which I doubt we're going to use that many arrows. I also made a crossbow. It was a level 321. And it still doesn't do as much damage output as what my uh, regular bow does. So I decided to not use it. I decided to stick with the bow for now. Until we level up our weapon smithing some more to get it near on 400-ish. Then I imagine that the, that the crossbow will start to, you know do enough damage to make it worth using over the bow. 
I mean, we'll take the three levels if... Oh, God. If I can hit him. I hate fighting zombies on a slope. One, because they do that. And two... Uh, yeah. Let's just get up this hill quickly. We want to really make the trader today. I've been procrastinating for a couple episodes now because I really didn't want to do the run. If possible, I would have preferred a mini bike. Alright, so we got another POI over here. We got a bank that I can see. I don't know what else, though. Alright, so this is interesting. I'm glad we found a POI that's closer to the trader. Because hopefully we should be able to... I gotta be careful when I weapon switch like that, just in case I accidentally shoot my gun off. I've already got meat on me, so that's already gonna attract the zombies to begin with. See, dogs are my only real concern. And regular zombies don't bother me so much. It's the dogs that concern me. But this isn't... It looks like a normal town, it's not a city, so... Except for on Horde Nights, we shouldn't really cop any... Any dogs. Or cops or anything. To be honest, this could be a better place to live. If we could find a decent place to take over. That we felt protected with. Oh, you got, you got some good shit. Yes, I know. You don't need to tell me twice. I know I'm a master with the bow. It's okay. So we've got a crap. Oh, mini bike, please. Mini bike, please. Got to search it. Sorry, guys and girls. We got to do it. 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 Mini bike dream. Mini bike dream. Mini bike dream. If I see a red book that's not a pistol book, I'm going to flip out. That's what I want to see. Fucking asshole zombies are going to ruin my fucking time. Get decapitated. Thank you. Come on. Finding a lot of paper, it's not what we want. SMG? No, AK. Ooh, yes. I don't believe we knew that. Fuck. The mini bike dream is dying. Guys and girls. Fuck me. I'm going to have to take some of these zombies out. It's getting ridiculous now. The mini bike dream is dying, guys and girls. It's going up in flames. We got that much fucking paper, it's ridiculous. Shotgun schematic, I believe I already knew that. Ah, you son of a bitch. Of course, it would cock tease me with a red book. A fucking pistol book. I forgot to bring my tokens. Not that I had a ton, I only had about 600 or so, but... Oh well, rip. Rip mini bike dream. Oh, you didn't die from that? Really? What the fuck? You keep flinching. Okay, this is just poor aim now. There we go. Alright, well, rip mini bike dream. Fuck me, right? Shamway. How far are we from the trader? Which way is the trader? This way. Fucking still a long way. Still a really, really long way, actually. That was poor damage. Oh my god. I hit you in the face. Uh, I can sell that to the trader for small amounts. There, see, there's a building that we could easily take over for now. There's a possibility right there. We'll have to come back and explore this town at a later date. That's for damn sure. We definitely will be. No doubt. Alright. 
So what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to continue on my way. If I find anything else interesting, I'll come back to you guys and girls. If not, I'll just see you when we get over to the trader. That is a bear. That is an airdrop. That is an airdrop on our way to the trader. We just really need to avoid getting fucked up by this bear and we will be golden. Golden rod even. Okay, I don't want to eat that charred meat just yet. I've got to be careful because I'll be attracted I'll be attracted by the meat smell. The last thing I want is a bear chasing me that's faster than me. Yes, I have plenty of steel arrows. Yes, I have rifle ammo. And yes, I have pistol ammo. But I still would prefer to not get chased by a fucking bear if I can avoid it. Sometimes I wish you could get speed perks to speed you up. But anyway, I will see you guys and girls in a moment. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Old school cowboy zombies. And a graveyard. Of course we would find a graveyard when I don't have a shovel on me. I mean, not that it would take me long to make one, I guess. Because I think we can find treasure from these, can we not? Okay, let's just get enough for a shovel. So we just put in shovel. Let's get ourselves a stone shovel right quick. We should also read these schematics so they're not taking up room on my inventory. And I'm also going to drop stuff like the fishing weights and some of the jars and stuff. Right, so we've got this shovel now. I haven't seen a graveyard before, so this is pretty cool for me. Like, this is actually really cool. Might not even get to what we want to get to this episode because we're finding too many awesome things. Ooh, coffins. Dude, this is fucking dope. I love this. Kind of morbidly fucked up that I love digging up graves, but... I do. I love it. Not that we're finding anything good. Hey, Mad Mole! Mad Mole dead. Mad Mole deceased as fuck. Alright, really not worth it here. Nothing really worth it. I don't even know why I'm picking most of it up. Eh. Mad Mole died twice, apparently. Fertilizer's good, though. Take the fertilizer over the... Uh, da, 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 da. Over the dirt fragments. I think I got them all. Well, wow, rest and pepperonis. We still got the supply crate here. Ooh. Sniper rifle, barrel, fuck off trophy. Take you. Fuck you, bitch. All right. Continuing onwards. God damn it. Fucking dogs. Wow. Well, Anyway, guys and girls, it's actually all I've got time for in today's episode. I was really hoping to make the trader. He is only down there, but this is a wasteland biome. And I've got to meticulously move my way through here very carefully. So as to not get killed. As you can see, there's dogs down there and stuff. So that could cause issues for sure. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got time for in today's episode. I would have loved to have made the trader today, but i got family coming over and I just don't have the time to do mess around and do that kind of stuff. But definitely in the next episode, given how close we are, we will definitely be going to the trader, no doubt. We don't have to make the run anymore, it's only just down there. But if you liked this video, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that sub button. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Alright, poise.